Hello, this is uh, Charles Siolan. I'm the program coordinator for the Electrical Engineering Technician and Technologist program, and I welcome you to this uh, virtual open house. Um, uh, just a little bit about me, if you need to contact me, it's cciolan at conestogac.on.ca. I'm here to support you. I've been part of the program for 15 years, and I've, I've got uh, at least 15 years industry experience. So, and like most of our faculty, we do have industry experience. So if you ever have any questions about possible career paths, please uh, feel free to, to, to talk to us. Um, our program highlights, there's two main themes to our program. So we have uh, the power systems. So that would be working with utilities or engineering uh, design firms. And we also have the automation uh, theme, which is working with uh, companies that do automation conveyors and, and so on. Um, like I said before, we have experienced faculty. So by all means, we're a resource that you can use uh, if you want to talk about future uh, uh, career paths. Our program has uh, roughly 50% of our time in the labs and our lab equipment is, is up to date. Um, we, this year we're starting out with the BYOD, so bring your own device, and um, the website's being updated, but basically if you go to the website you'll see there's a number of different uh, computer uh, options. What we're looking for in our program is the better or best uh, option. Um, but it's going to be updated, so, so keep your eye on that. But that's the, the website here is... Uh, um, take a look at that. Um, we have a virtual tour uh, based on uh, the Cambridge campus. So that's where our program's held. Uh, the website for that Cambridge campus, uh, well, it's for all the, the tours, but you want to look for the Cambridge campus. So just below here, that's our ACDC Motor Lab. Uh, this one here is one of our first year electronic labs that we use over here. So there's a oscilloscope and so on. And then we also have our instrumentation labs for second year. Uh, this, this one here is typically our third year lab for PLCs, but you can find those pictures on the virtual tour um, when you go to that website. Uh, some of the career opportunities our uh, graduating students will see is that um, um, uh, I'll talk about the employment first. So basically about 74% of our uh, technician graduates get uh, jobs within six months. Uh, electrical is somewhere uh, around 73% of non-co-op, but 90% of co-op. Um, the uh, just to give you an idea, by the end of, uh, for the technologist, by the end of third year, so before we've even had exams, probably 30% have already uh, uh, found employment. Uh, by, the, by the time graduation occurs in June, about six weeks after their last exam, probably about 60% have uh, secured employment. So, and then, you know, and then the numbers go up as, as, as you get more time. So, um, you know, certainly the, the opportunities are, are fantastic in the electrical uh, area. Um, so what are the careers available? We have two themes, the power systems. You have a, a career in local utilities, so you could be doing the design work, uh, you could be working in the control room. Um, so same with electrical uh, firms, there's uh, field service. So that would be maintaining electrical rooms, uh, could be uh, commissioning new electrical equipment. Engineering firms, they do electrical design, maybe a new office building, apartment building. Uh, we have electrical distributors. So technical sales is, is kind of a, a it's a, a funny term. It's, it's what we're doing here is we're becoming experts in particular products so that you can support the customers. So when they come in and they have a problem, you have a solution for them. Um, and then in the automation area, there's a lot of local automation firms here. So you could be involved in the design of, a, of a, you know, conveyors, for instance, uh, programming, the panel wiring. Uh, 
Uh, there's engineering firms. These ones would be concentrating more on the uh, programming or the system integration. Uh, and then we have electrical distributors for this type of equipment. So the technical sales, they become proficient with the PLCs, programmable logic controllers, and various components that go along with that. Um, in first year, we typically have 120 students, so we have a cluster of three programs, the electrical engineering technician, engineering technologist, and we have the energy systems engineering technologist. So between those three programs, we get about 120 students. Um, you can see the numbers drop off. The biggest reason that they drop off is that, you know, in reality, um, they weren't sure about the program they find the program is not really for them so um it, it's it's more of a, a a desire of what they want to do rather than you know the complexity of the program um so should i have an electrical background so of course if you have an electrical background uh you know it's probably more certain that this is going to be a, a program that you would enjoy um, but like if, if we just go back to engineering programs, math is, is major uh, component of engineering programs. And so it's important to have a good math background. Um, we get a, a wide range of students. So we'll get students from high school, 17 year old. We, we get mature students, maybe from 25 to 35 to 40. So we understand that, you know, there, there is that, you know, we need that refresher. And so we do have that in our program. So electrical or physics background is, is uh, very helpful, but it, it's not really necessary. Um, what's the difference between electrical engineering technician? Um, and uh, a technologist. So the technician is a two-year program. The degree is an Ontario College degree, uh, while the technician is a three-year program, which is Ontario College Advanced, uh, sorry, not degree, uh, Advanced Diploma. So technician is a, 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 a Ontario College Diploma. Technologist is an Ontario College Advanced Diploma. So the first two years are exactly the same. So that means technician and technologist, it's easy to transfer from one to the other. So if you're a technician and you really enjoy it and you wanna to go to the third year to, tr to transfer is seamless. And same if you were a technologist and you wanna to go to a two year. Um, typically technician is more of a hands-on career and technologist it tends to be more design analytical programming. Um, the salary for a technologist is higher typically. I mean, uh, they, they do the extra year of school. Um, but, you know, the, the end position and salary, I mean, has a lot to do with the character and ambition of the student. So if the student has a lot of drive, they, they can go much further. I mean, we've had students that are technician that are, uh, you know, managers of major companies and, and they're the Canadian manager, not just a regional manager. So there is a, a lot of opportunity in, in the field. Um, what does the optional co-op mean? So basically a co-op is available to certain students. It's based on your level one performance. At the end of level two, if you get invited to, uh, to co-op, you can either choose to apply or not apply. Now we do invite the technicians, so they would have to transfer to technology if they decide to apply. Uh, level three, the co-op take a, a course that uh, teaches uh, them how to use the, the system that the co-op has developed, the co-op department, and they, they will also look at writing resumes, interview skills, and so on. Level four, which is the winter semester of second year, they'll be applying for the co-op uh, jobs. And then level five to eight, they go out to work. So they have options. They, they can take, um, um, you know, one, one company for 16 months. They could go to four different companies each for four months. Um, typically a company would like a, a commitment of, of eight months, but not always. Um, in level nine, then the students come back. Uh, so after their 16 month uh, work term, uh, they come back and join the third year students who were in first year when they were in 
second year. And, th and then that adds that extra year so that they, uh, they end up being in school for three and two thirds years. Um, next question, can I become an electrician? So some of the field service jobs, or most of them actually, the company will send that person to become an electrician. That's basically the only electrician outcome from our program. Our program is geared more towards engineering and not towards an electrician. If you want to become an electrician, you're better off taking the, uh, the apprenticeship program or taking the electrical technician industrial program. Uh, can I get a degree out of this program? So we do have a, a, a power systems engineering degree program. Our program only gives you a diploma. If you would like, uh, there is the option of uh, bridging over to the power systems engineering. So once you complete the three-year technology, then you would have to do a few courses during the summer, and that would include some calculus and, and uh, um, chemistry and, and physics and, and so on that we don't cover in the diploma program. And so then you would enter into three year, the third year of the uh, PSE program, which is a four-year program. So uh, if you need further information there, you should contact the, the PSC program or the Power Systems Engineering. Uh, for further details. Okay, so for our uh, program then, there's uh, the web pages. If you want to visit uh, this, this site here for a technician or this site here for the technology, um, there's more information on the type of courses you would be taking. Uh, the information on uh, graduate opportunities is in there. Um, the handbook that gives you some idea of what the kind of the rules are for the program. And uh, there is some, some further information there. So please uh, take a look at the uh, program webpage. And if you have uh, any uh, information that you would still like to uh, uh, ask about, I mean, please feel free to call me uh, uh, or sorry, email me at ccolan at Conestoga C. Dot on dot ca, and that's Charles Seolan. We look forward to uh, seeing you at Conestoga College come the fall, and um, I, hope, uh, I hope this helps. And like I say, please feel free to contact us, uh, contact me if, if you require any further information. Thanks very much, and uh, best of luck with your decision.